Hey everybody, I'm Honda Pro Jason, and I'm standing in front of the newly redesigned and heavily updated 2019 Honda Pilot. Let's check this thing out. I'm gonna show you guys inside, outside, all the tips, tricks, all the cool stuff, so let's get into it. Starting in the front, this is a whole new grill from side to side. Check this out. This whole new grill right down here has a beautiful little honeycomb section on the bottom. This part here, this is the Elite. This is normally chrome, but there's an accessory black kit that goes on it. Honda Sensing, check this out. Honda Sensing is standard, LX and above. So every single pilot gets Honda Sensing, which is amazing. Has a sensor inside hidden behind the Honda H and a camera up on top that's gonna read the road. That's pretty awesome. And now also every Honda Pilot is also gonna get LED lighting up front. Check this out. LED high beams, low beams, daytime running lights, turn signals, and because this car is an Elite, it has fog lights, LED fog lights. Brand new skid pad on the bottom. Coming around to the side. All new style 20 inch rims. And if you notice this orange here, and you also probably notice a little bit of orange up here on the hood, this is a new graphic package that's available at Honda dealerships. It's not just orange, they do make all the colors, but you can get it at any Honda dealership. Coming around to the side, these mirrors, as always, they fold forward, they fold backward. But now if someone has your brights on behind you, the mirrors actually tint and they're foldable. Press a button, they fold in. How cool is that? Coming around to the side, let me show you a couple things here. This is neat. This gas door, check this out, I'm gonna show you a neat little tip and trick. There is a button here that you press to open the gas door. Everyone knows. That's not the tip and trick. The tip and trick is what happens if something happens to that button? What happens if you lose power, you need to put gas in the car? This gives me a perfect opportunity to show you guys the hands-free tailgate. Check this out. No hands. Step back, this tailgate automatically opens up. You take the key, you separate the key from the key fob. You're gonna use this as a tool. Inside this thing right here, you open this up, this little panel, and you do have a gas filler, just in case you do run out of gas, you need to fill it with a uh, gas can, but that's not what I wanna show you. I'm gonna show you this trigger inside here. When you pull on this trigger with your fingers, it opens up the gas door manually. Cool, huh? Now those are just a couple of the features on the outside that have changed, but the big changes, the real big changes, are on the inside. Let's check those out. Inside the new Pilot is a lot of the features we just got in the new Odyssey, which is amazing. So if you take a look at the screen rotor over here, the screen's gonna look very similar to the new Odyssey. You wanna move anything around, you just simply take your finger, you press it, and you drag it right over to where you wanna drop it. You drop it and it moves everything right around, which is amazing. Also, we have an AT&T hotspot, which is outstanding. So this actually is a 4G LTE hotspot. All you have to do is press the button, turn the power on, and you got AT&T hotspot. Once you get the car, it's gonna be three months free, and then it's $25 a month for unlimited use if you'd like to use that. And now that we have the hotspot, we also have things like cabin control, which is an app on your phone that you can control from anywhere inside the car, the radio, the navigation, a whole bunch of different stuff from your app, which is pretty cool. We also have cabin talk, which means now from the front seat, there's a little microphone right up here. And what you do is you just speak clearly and people all the way in the back can hear you, even if they have headphones on, it goes through your headphones. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of new features, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a lot of stuff we didn't have before. And now with all these new features like 4G LTE, we also have Honda Link Assist. So a simple press of this button, what this will do is this will be contacting emergency services. Honda Link, my name is Gaden. We've received an SOS signal from your vehicle. Is everything okay? Yes, Hayden. I'm actually showing you a couple of clients how the system works. Can you tell me a little bit about the car we're in and where we're located, please? Yeah, I got a 2019 Honda Pilot, white in color, and a location of 1050 Patero Ra uh, Road in Westlake. Excellent. Thank you so much for your help today. No problem. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Cool, right? So emergency services knows the exact car you're in, the color you're in, and where you're located. That's pretty awesome. Now, under the hood, Honda kept everything pretty much the same, except for the transmission. Hard, hardware and software greatly improved, and idle slap is idle Hardware and software greatly improved, and idle stop is improved. All these things are great, right? A lot of cool tech features, and it makes the vehicle much nicer, but it's an SUV, so it really should have some off-road capabilities, right? Let's go check those out now. 
So that was the outside. The inside and a couple tips and tricks, but this is an SUV. Should be able to go off-road, right? And Honda hasn't really talked about too much of the off-road capabilities before. So I grabbed Justin, the product planner, to tell us some more. Justin, how are you, brother? Doing well, Jason. Awesome, so before we go on this drive, tell me a little bit about how capable the system is, a little bit about the drive modes, torque vectoring, stuff like that. Right, so the Honda Pilot has uh, what we call an IVTM4 all-wheel drive system, so that stands for Intelligent Torque Management. And essentially, this is a fully torque vectoring system, so we can send up to 70% of the torque to the rear wheels, and then 100% of that can be sent either to the left or the right side of the vehicle. Um, a lot of our competitors, they'll advertise torque vectoring, but what they're doing is actually a brake assist torque vectoring. So when one of the wheels starts to slip, they'll use the brake to slow that down. The benefit of this system is that we can actually send more torque to the wheel that's got traction, so you can really get moved through the situation uh, with a lot better performance. Very nice, and then there's four, same four drive modes as last year. That's right. So we have so, normal is normal. Right, normal, we've got snow, mud and sand. So essentially, this is a smart system, so it's constantly looking at the different parameters and optimizing the system for the best performance you're in. I love but if it. you select one of those uh, those different traction management modes, it essentially gives the system a heads up and lets it know what kind of terrain you're on so it can default to the settings that are optimal for that type of situation. That sounds great. Justin, back up for one second. I'm gonna do one quick thing before we drive, just to make sure everyone knows the driver is HP Jay, now let's drive. Okay. All right. So we heard about what this thing can do. Now I'm interested to actually feel and experience it. I've, 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 I've driven these cars a thousand times. Sure. But never ever on a course like this. All right. So this is going to be totally insane. And I am super, super excited to see what this thing's going to do. That's great. Well, let's start off by seeing what... In what mode we're in the intelligent traction management. So let's, let's go back to normal mode to start with. Got it. We're gonna feel right off the bat for what the what the system's gonna do to compensate for any wheel slip or loss of traction you have. Okay. So as we drive around, we'll go through the modes and you can then get a feel for what each mode is gonna do so that you can see how the traction management system increases, traction control is gonna increase, and the rear locking is gonna work. Cool? I can't wait, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Vehicle's gonna adapt to appropriately drive through the sand. 
sand gives me the least amount of uh, traction control. So I can spin, right? So And the most power. Sand's going to give you a pretty even distribution of power front to rear. Okay. And it's going to increase traction control, although it's going to allow you to spin at higher RPM so that you can throw some of the sand. So as you drive through here, actually, you know what? Drive in and slam on the brakes. Let's dig, let's dig a little bit of a hole. All right? Slam on the brakes. Perfect. Now we're starting from a situation that's terrible in sand, right? Now we're right, starting we're from a, a condition where we've got to work to get out. Oh, yeah. The idea with sand is you want to get to the top of the surface as fast as you can, okay. and you want to stay on top of it. So as you accelerate now, the vehicle's going to have a pretty steady throttle map that increases pretty dramatically, so you get to the top of that surface and stay okay. on top. Okay, so you just want me to gun it out of here? Yeah, give it a little bit of gas and roll on. What's your best guess? 
Um, so 90 is straight up and down, right? 90 straight up and down. So I'm gonna say a solid 45. All right, I've got 42 right there. Hey, a solid 45 from some guy that doesn't know nothing <laughs> is pretty good. So we're at 42 43. degrees. 43 <laughs> degrees right now. This is like, I seriously feel like if someone were to lift the front, we could tumble. Like it's that much of an angle. Okay, foot's on the brake. Now right. what you want me to do is release it. We're gonna hold for about five seconds or so. Yeah, so and then we go forward. Think about what you would do. You naturally take your foot off the brake and go to the gas pedal. And in that time, without hill hold, the vehicle would roll backwards. For sure. If we waited too long, the vehicle would kind of get to the end of where it's holding the brakes and go sure. backwards. But when you get to the gas pedal and start to apply the gas, we release the brake pedal press. We release the brake pressure from the calipers and you start to move. So the second that you get to the gas pedal, it's going to start to release that. And it's pretty and awesome. Off. Yeah. And you said it's five seconds. It is five. Se it, it's a, yeah. It's about. It, okay. If I was going to be specific, I'd say like four and a half. Okay. So I'm going to take my foot off. I'm going to do one, two, three, and hit the gas. Sure. You ready? Yep. You guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three. It just crawls right up. Notice the intelligent traction management screen too. I like that a lot. So when you when you go to climb out of this next hill, yeah. you'll see that light up. <laughs> Killing cones out there. <laughs> that was a great That's crazy. shot. Crazy. Okay, so um, you want to do the same thing and stop down here somewhere? You can stop actually right here and go to reverse because the hill hold works in reverse. So shift to reverse. You get the same five seconds. So do your one, two, three count and then get back on the gas and you'll be impressed to see how it backs back up the hill. Okay. One, two, three. Get out of here. That is awesome. Oh my God. It, it just, there was, I didn't, nothing spit, just went right up the hill. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Didn't miss a beat. Let's go I back into, into drive and we'll cruise down. Now in sand and mud, our vehicle stability assist is, is pulled back to give us a little more freedom. And, sure. and in both of those situations, you might find yourself in a condition where you're hard on the throttle and you're giving it steering input. And in those conditions, the vehicle's gonna say, nope, stability control's gonna shut you down. You're doing too much, you're asking for too much. Of course. So the stability system's gonna limit you. In this uh, case, with it in, in sand, we're gonna have a little more freedom. So as you zip around the corner here, okay. you'll have the ability to, uh, if you're smooth on the controls, you'll have the ability to, to give it a little zip. Can I zip through in um, sport mode? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. If you want to go to sport mode and even use the paddles. So yeah, but let's not get crazy, Tim. Let's not go crazy. Let's not let's go not crazy, go but crazy. at least do. So you just want me to kind of whip yeah, around this little corner here? Cool. Saw the wheel. 
wheel spinning and yeah. no grip, it would limit the power to the left side because it doesn't have grip and give all that power to the right. That's awesome. Hey, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Absolutely. That. So I showed you guys all the cool stuff on the outside of the Pilot, showed you all the stuff on the inside of the Pilot, and we went for a test drive in the most craziest environment ever. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys love this video. And as always, this time from sunny California, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.